Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. D.C. Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology. I am here to present the paper, Technology of Spices and Condiments. In the present module, we will be discussing processing of pepper, its different aspects, its different methods. And these aspects will be explained to you by my co-author, Ms. Kulsum Jan. Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Kulsum Jan from Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I am going to talk about module number 10 of paper number 10, Technology of Spices and Condiments. In this module, we will learn about the processing of pepper. As far as the pepper is concerned, the word pepper originated from the Sanskrit word pepali, meaning berry. Pepper is now grown in Indonesia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, and Kampuchea, as well as the west coast of India known as Malabar, where it is originated. The United States is the largest importer of pepper. India is still the largest exporter of the spice. And Brazil may be among the newer exporters of the pepper. Both black and white pepper come from the sherb classified as pepper nigerum in this module, we will go through pepper processing, pepper processing equipments, its harvesting, thresher, decocticator, drying of pepper, cleaning and grading of pepper, followed by storage, quality and control of pepper. So, Post-harvest handling is crucial to get a high quality product. The harvested spikes are kept in bags for 12 to 24 hours or heaped and covered overnight for a brief fermentation which makes despiking easy. The spikes are then threshed manually by rubbing or trampling underfoot or by using mechanical threshers of various types. Spice plants are usually harvested and processed traditionally under variable stationary conditions in many developing countries. This gives room for high level of bacteria and fungal contamination. With the increasing awareness of hygiene and food spoilage, microbiologists have acknowledged that traditional spices and herbs can increase the bacterial levels of some foods like pepper, which may result in their deterioration and possibly cause food poisoning. So here we will study the improved processing methods in the production of black and white pepper. Pepper owns its flavor and pungency to its chemical constituents such as volatile oil, olive resins and peppery. Old roll milling machines crush the peppercorns by rolling them between a series of the rollers. Cracking lightly, the peppercorns are able to release their flavor and cook it. In types of the cooking, like cartoon style recipes, there are spices dependent. In restaurant dining and in healthful food preparations, have all sparked renewed enthusiasm for the flavor 
and goodness of the pepper. Pepper will surely have an honored place at the table as long as there are cooks, kitchen, and taste conscious consumers. Black pepper, the king of spices, is one of the oldest and the most popular spice in the world. Its perennial climbing vine, indigenous to the Malabar coasts of India, the hot pungent spice made from its berries is one of the earliest spice known in India. Black pepper is grown under a variety of agriculture schemes ranging from home gardens, mixed crops in coffee plantations and monocrops on slopes and in valleys. After almost three years, the plants and over two meter tall are bushy. They start flowering at the onset of the rains. The fruits are picked by hand and are harvested six to eight times each season at two week intervals. A long rainy season, fairly high temperatures and partial shade are required for the best growth of plants. Different varieties of pepper available are betel pepper. Piper beetle, Indian long pepper, Piper longum, Java long pepper, Piper retrofactum, rough leaved pepper, Piper amalago. Pepper plant is a native to the Malabar coast in Kerala. At present, India accounts for more than 20% of the world output of pepper and is also one of the largest consumers and exporters of pepper. Kerala is the largest producer of pepper accounting for over 95% of India's total output. Pepper is cultivated in Kerala in Luduki, Kotayam, Kanonur, Calicut, and Vyanand. Pepper is also cultivated in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Pondicherry. Processing of pepper involves threshing, drying, cleaning, grading and packaging. These unit operations are important to ensure clean and quality product. Different methods for preparation value added product like dehydrated green pepper, canned green pepper, white pepper, ground pepper, pepper oil. A wide range of the threshers with the capacity ranging from 50 to 1200 kg per hour are used for its processing. Trampling with legs is the traditional method followed for de-skinning of, of pepper. This unit operation is crude, tedious and unhygienic. This method was common in the ancient times when there are no machines available for threshing. This method facilitates extraneous matter, soil, particles and filth inside threshed seed of the pepper. The harvested spikes are sometimes piled up for about two days before threshing to facilitate easy separation of berries from spike. Nowadays, threshers are used for the separation of seeds from the spikes. Correct harvesting techniques could be said to be the most important factor 
in the production of a high quality final product. The main problem is immature harvesting. The immature harvesting may include number of the reasons. Among them, the fear of the theft is one. If the crop is picked correctly when it's immature, then there are a number of the problems. It's mature, the higher yields can be obtained. And higher value of the final product may offset the loss due to the theft. Though extension offers correct harvesting should be encouraged. However, sometimes immature pepper receives a higher price than mature pepper. That can be due to the purchase of the food processors, due to its high percentage of flavor, components which are generally present in the pepper. And the next one is the correct harvesting which involves that the pepper spikes should be picked with when one or more of the berries start going yellow to orange. The berries should be hard to touch. Mainly two types of the threshers are used. Number one, pedal man-powered thresher. Number two, electronic motor-powered thresher. It's also called as electric motor power thresher. Threshing efficiency of manual thresher is low. The thresher also needs to be equipped with suitable component to separate berries. This machine is based on the principle of friction and impact mechanism. The pedal powder thresher can be applied at the small holder farming level whereas the electric motor powered thresher is more effective at large farming level the pepper thresher consists of five main parts threshing part hopper separation part outlet and power source three types of Decorticator are cylinder, disc and fin type decorticators. These are commonly used. Cylinder and fin types have similarity in mechanism of decorticating but have limitations due to occurrence of defection on surfaces of the cores. This weakness has been minimized by using this type decorticators. The decorticating mechanism of this type is based on the principle of pressure and friction as well as combination of these principles. The objective of the mechanism is to crush or damage the structure of the skin of the berries without damaging the inner core. The pepper decorticator consists of four main parts that is decorticating part, hopper, outlet and a power source. Pepper has a moisture content of 50 to 60 percent which should be taken to safer level by drying for the facilitation of next operation. Green color of the matured is due to the chlorophyll content in the berries. During drying, the enzymatic browning set in the phenolic compounds present inside berries oxidized by atmospheric oxygen and under the influence of enzyme peroxidase due to this color of the berries turn black. The berries are sun dried for a week to bring about the moisture content of 10%. In sun drying, periodic turning of lots of berries is done to prevent 
mold growth and achieve the uniform drying. The growth of the mold result grayish appearance to the product. The pepper is dried on clean surface like cemented floor, paste coated bamboo and packed in polyfilms before further processing. An innovative technique has been developed by CFTR Mysore. In this method, blanching of green pepper for about one minute standardized. The advantage of this drying is accelerated drying rates, uniform dark glossy green color. In case of green pepper, reduction in dust, foreign matter and reduction in the overall microbial load have been achieved. The blanching is done at 85 degrees centigrade for 1.5 to 5 minutes. However, the prolonged duration of blanching results discoloration of the pepper. The threshed and dried pepper has extraneous matter like spent spikes, pin heads, stones, soil particles, etc. mixed with it. On small scale, the removal of these is possible during winnowing and hand picking. Cleaning is achieved by feeding the material through hopper into steam of air blowing in perpendicular direction. The heavier fractions or the mature berries fall nearby while lighter fractions that is dust and immature berries, pinheads and spent spikes are blown away. In export houses, pepper is cleaned and graded with the help of a multiple sieve come air classifier whereby dust, stalk, pinheads, immature berries, extra bold pepper are separated. The cleaned pepper is further graded by the help of sieves. Well defined grades based on size have been defined by a marked directorate of marketing and inspection DMI. There are different grades of prepper processing which is based on the cleaning and grading. These grades are as follows. Number first, Malabar garbled, Malabar ungarbled, Delicherry garbled black pepper with special extra bold, garbled light pepper, ungarbled light pepper and pinheads. Black pepper is hygroscopic in nature and absorbs moisture from air very easily, especially during rainy season with high humidity and result in mold and insect infestation. Therefore, pepper needs protection against ingress of moisture, light, heat and loss of aroma and flavor during storage. Before storage, it's dried to the optimum moisture level of 10% and garbled. Pepper should be stored in double lined bags with polyethylene liners of 0.076 millimeter. The quality 
of the black pepper is largely determined by berry size, color, light berry content, extra bold berry, damaged berries, moisture content, microbial load, presence of foreign matter like animal excretia, insect infestation, etc. Another quality aspect gaining importance is microbial contamination level. The quality of the pepper is achieved by applying hygiene code of practice and by the application of inactivation methods like irradiation, vacuum fumigation and thermal treatments. Products of pepper. There are other products of pepper which are white pepper, decorticated black pepper and green pepper. As far as the white pepper is concerned, to produce white pepper, the pepper berry is not harvested until it's bright red in color. The red berry is detached from the spike and soaked in gunny bags in a steam for over a week. The water in the steam should be clear to prevent discoloration. After removal, the bags are trampled on until the pericarp is removed. The white pepper cones are thoroughly washed and dried. Next is the decorticated black pepper. This is black pepper that has had its outer skin removed mechanically. It's used as a substitute for white pepper when white pepper is in short supply. Now the green pepper. Green pepper is when immature pepper berries are artificially dried or preserved in brine, vinegar or citric acid. They are popular in France. Pepper oleoresins. This is extracted from black pepper by solvent extraction and is used to flavor foods. Now the black pepper oil. The pepper is crushed and then it undergoes steam distillation. Pickled green pepper. Immature green pepper is pickled in vinegar or brine. This is very popular in France and West Germany. The next one is freeze dried green pepper. This is made in West Germany from imported green pepper corns and preserved in brine. Rose pepper. This is when Overripe red pepper berries are preserved in brine and in vinegar. Processing of pepper involves threshing, drying, cleaning, grading, and packaging. In case of the threshing, mainly two types of the threshers are used based on the principle of friction and impact mechanism. To remove outer skin of the berries. Further, decorticators of cylinder, disc, and fin type are commonly used. Pepper has a moisture content of 50 to 60 percent, which is taken to safer level by drying. The threshold and dried pepper has extraneous matter like spent spike pinheads, stones, soil particles, etc. Black pepper is hygroscopic in nature. Thus absorbs moisture from air very easily. So in rainy seasons, 
with high humidity and results in mold and insect infestation. Therefore, packed in polyethylene packs. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. India is the fourth largest pepper producer in the world and the production is about 67,000 metric tons in 2008. Annual white pepper contribution in India is less than 250 metric tons against the world demand of more than 1500000 metric tons. Indonesia is the largest pepper producing country, which converts about 50% of its pepper to white pepper, followed by Malaysia and Brazil, which converts about 10% and 5% of the pepper to the white pepper, respectively. The post harvest technology followed for pepper is still the traditional practice. Cleaning of the pepper before and after is not a regular process. Black pepper is traditionally dried in open sun or maybe on the floors which are generally snared with cow dung or on bam bamboo mats. The drying time generally required for pepper drying is 39 hours as observed. So there are generally number of the factors which should be taken into consideration during drying. One among them is the quality analysis of the samples which are being dried in sun and which determine the overall quality that can be the physical quality, sensory quality and the other hygienic practices which are being generally used. And if these standards are not being followed, I mean the standards which are being generally given for maintenance of the quality of the pepper, then there are a number of the factors which can arise which can render the physical quality of the pepper. So uh, there are a number of the factors which should be considered during the drying of the pepper. Thank you. In the present module, we have discussed different processing aspects of pepper, which are very important in producing the product. And the products we are going to discuss in the next module are white and black pepper. Thank you.